is up guys it's snow motions here with bgn of course um today i'm going to bring you a video on a pretty easy to make emc farm in tech it it's easy to make but it's kind of expensive so if you're advanced in tech it and you're all legit and you want to make this and you have high voltage solar rays you can do this if not and you're not going legit it really doesn't matter you can do it anyway um so this is pretty much making diamonds very very quickly i'll stop this just so you see how fast as you can see three oops four diamonds have been made since i started recording let's take out these stacks and i only made this about five minutes ago so as you can see nine already ten and it's very very efficient it's very very quick and i'm going to show you how to make it it's also very compact so you can put it like on the roof of your house if you have a small house but anyway, so this is everything you're going to need to make this. All the supplies are in here. And this is all you will need. You won't need anything more or anything less. So we'll start out by digging a kind of like a, a T-shape, like that Tetris thing. And you're going to put the MFSUs in here all facing or all with the output facing this way then you're gonna put the high voltage solar rays on top if you never knew how to like put an item on top of the machine you just shift click on it like shift and then place it down and then we're gonna expand this out two spaces and we're gonna put a glass fiber cable in there now we're gonna put uh, the ready master right in here and put everything in here. Make sure you put the transformer upgrades in there first before you put uh, before you connect it up to the MFSUs because it will blow up. Uh, you're gonna need 16 overclockers and 16 energy storage upgrades and of course the two transformer upgrades. Now you can go ahead if you want and connect the two so it's gaining power. Then you're gonna place a redstone torch next to the rotary macerator to keep it on constantly. This is why you need this high power. If you don't have the high power, it won't, uh, it won't support it. So, after you have that done, you're going to want to place a filter here. You also might need a screwdriver. Many people would know why. Oh, right. You need the blaze, uh, blaze rock and stuff. And take 15 blaze, uh, no, no, blaze powder. Take 15 of that and place that in the filter because that's gonna that's where you're going to uh, take out of the rotary macerator and every blaze rod that you macerate will give you five so it's uh, you're multiplying what you're getting from the uh, macerator with macerating the items and then you're gonna place a energy chest here or sorry not an energy chest an energy condenser there and you're gonna place another one right next to it so. If you don't know what I'm at, I'll go into creative now so you guys can see. So you've got the MFSUs, the high voltage solar rays on top, the rotary macerator, it must be a rotary macerator, they're a lot faster. The filter, two energy condensers, and we built one, two, three. Uh, we put three pneumatic tubes out from the filter and then we placed these. And you'll see why I did that later. Then you're also going to want to put a filter here next to this uh, energy condenser and you're going to put three blaze rods in there that's going to take three blaze rods at a time out of this ch uh, energy ch condenser sorry and you're going to raise this up by one because it, you must you must you must you must do this or it'll just go into the sides like it'll go under instead of on top so it, uh, it won't um, they won't macerate. Then, in this energy condenser that you have here that's not connected to anything else, leading to anything, you're going to put anything you want to duplicate. So, say diamond. And diamonds are they're really, really quick with duplicating. You're going to put the diamond there. And then, you, in here, you're going to put blaze rods. So, you must, if you're doing this legit, obviously, you're going to need a couple blaze rods before you start this off. So you just macerate, or not macerate, you uh, transmute some with diamonds or something. It'll, uh, it'll be worth it in the end. 
So in here, now you're going to put a timer here and lower it all the way down to 0 0.2. Same thing here. Make sure the, the little hole is facing the pneumatic tube so it won't work correctly in the filters. And then here, I don't know, we'll just throw, dirt won't do it. We'll throw some blaze powder. I don't know why I didn't do that. There's 16 blaze powder in there, just to start it off. And then as you see, that'll go into the macerator, be pulled out by the rotary, uh, sorry, by the filter. And if it didn't work, you're going to have to put some more. And then eventually, one one stack will go into here and the other will come into here, duplicating the diamonds. And we've already got two diamonds, wow. As you can see, and that's duplicating blaze rods, and or er, condensing blaze rods. And then the blaze rods will go into the macerator, come out, and this is all automatic. And it won't, I don't think it would cause lag if it does just break the timers. You just gotta do that, and just wait. And it'll start heating up as you can see, or er, I don't know, I guess speeding up. As you can see how slow, it's, it's not really slow, but it's slower than that one that I have over there. See, the blaze rods aren't going through as fast, so the diamonds won't dupe as fast, but they are duplicating very, very, very quickly. Let's check over this one, and it's already three stacks and a half, almost, three stacks and a quarter. And you can see how quick it's going, and they're going back and forth because they, there's just no room for them in there. They even go into the bottom, that doesn't do anything, you can put them up there if you want, it doesn't make a difference really. And, yeah, that's really it. Um, I'm going to show you guys, this is a rather expensive machine here. I'm going to, uh, later on I'm going to do a machine with just bone meal, and it'll keep duplicating itself, oh look a pig. It'll just keep duplicating itself, it's not hard, it's actually... I think it's a bit easier than this one is. It's just a bit bigger. So yeah, guys, that's that's it. If you ever wanted to make tons and tons and tons of BMC, as you can see here, this is a very, very, very efficient machine to do that. And that's all. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give it a like, a thumbs up, I mean, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, like, thumbs up, I don't care. And subscribe if you haven't. I'll be bringing more content out like this. Hopefully daily. Not sure if I can because of my internet speed, but I will be upgrading soon. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm out, guys. Thanks.